Well, I must give a huge thank you to my audience today, especially just to name a few, Larry, Fred and Patrick, who have given me some great feedback on how to get this rotary encoder system working in ESP Home. Now, it's taken quite a while. It's been literally about two or three weeks that I've been working on this project, but the input from your, you guys has just been fantastic. And it's great news that I can let you know today that I've finally got this working. It is now adjusting the light, the brightness of my light bulb, and I can use this to do all sorts of other things now. I still have one problem that you'll pick up later in the video, so feedback will be appreciated. Now, the way I've done it in the end is with Node-RED. And I'm sure there's other ways that it can be done with YAML integrations or automations as well as with Home Assistant automations. So if you guys have got any more thoughts and help that you can give me, it'd be great to show the other ways of doing this as well, because I'm sure this is the only, isn't the only way. But I am really impressed that the Node-RED version is working now, and I'm going to show you how it works. So what I've done to get this going is I've used a switch component here in Node-RED. So if we open that, you'll see the switch component. What it's doing it is it's selecting looking for either a 1, 2, 3, 4, or a 5, or a 6, which is coming from my rotary encoder. So basically, if we went and um, basically turned the a little rotary encoder here, you will see that it's changing. Now, this is one problem that I'm still having. For some reason or other, these numbers seem to be a bit random. So I've selected that it goes from 1 to 6. And as you can see, as I select the different numbers, it is effectively pushing a signal through to the correct light turn on or off and at a different brightness each time. So basically the switch component is working really well, but something about the way that the rotary encoder is working is not quite perfect. It seems to go, look at that, one, two, and then all of a sudden we go there. Now, for some reason, sticking at one or two, look, and then you might turn it a bit more and then suddenly it will go to three so it's a little bit odd i'm not sure why this is happening um, if anyone's got any ideas please let me know um, if we go now to the next component so based off those one to six it is selecting one of these light calls so effectively this is a call service node as you can see it's calling a home assistant item um, of domain light type um, I was first using the switch type and that was why it wasn't working before. I've then got the service to turn it off and I've selected my entity, which is called Bathlight. It's a Philips Hue bulb. So that's the first one. So that is off. Then we've got the first one to turn on, which is the same thing, except now what we've done is we've created a little bit of JSON code here to actually select the brightness. Now there's two types of brightnesses you can select. You can select a brightness underscore PEC percentage, I think it is, and that will be 0 to 100. I've just selected brightness, so that is from 1 to 255 are the increments. So what I've done with the first one is I've said set it to brightness 50. So this is the code. You just type this code in, and then you go format, and it will lay it out like this. So it's basically looking at the entity ID, which is the entity ID of my light, and setting the brightness. Um, so what I've done is I've copied that and repeated that each time. And then all I've done is just increment the number so that it goes to 100. And then at the top one, you'll see that I've got it going over here to 255. So that's offering me off and then uh, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. So it basically goes from off right through to pretty much full brightness, turning either clockwise or anti-clockwise. These numbers should increment and then should turn my bulb brighter and dimmer. So that is all working. It's triggering the bulb to change its percentage and everything. So the only problem I've got now is that the numbers, as you can see, as we click through, it selects the correct segment. But for some reason or other, this is not working. So if we go, not working perfectly, I would assume it should go one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we look at what I'm using as my ESP home, there's my encoder. And if we go through here and we have a look at the way I've done it. Um, so this was a bit of a help I got from another um, uh, viewer basically saying, OK, I've got my pins there. So resolution one, minimum value, maximum value six. And then we've used this filter for debounce and throttle, which is limiting if you move the encoder too fast 
and debounces the encoder. So I was hoping that that was going to stop that weird response from happening. So if anyone's got any ideas how we can fix that, that would be great. But I really appreciate all the help that everyone has given me. It's been absolutely fantastic to see. And I'm still planning to work on other things. I've got another person that's given me some code for um, YAML code to go into the automations. Um, I've got another person that's offered me some um, information on how they thought I could do it with the Home Assistant automations. So please feel free, give me more information. Let's see if we can get this working in the other ways as well. And we can all learn about more about Home Assistant automations. So really appreciate the help with this. If anyone's got any ideas about this, please let me know. And I look forward to making more videos for you. Have a great week. Bye then.